guys today from another hit it or quit it thoughts on hauls if you're unfamiliar with this series i'm going to be reviewing products i featured in a haul a year ago to let you know my current thoughts on those products i will have my playlist and the individual videos linked down below and i will list all of the products below as well i'm going to be talking about the things that i featured in my november haul and my what i got for christmas haul and then for my December thoughts on hauls, I'm going to just stick to my Black Friday, Cyber Monday haul because that was a real big one. But I did really good in November last year. I didn't purchase very many things at all. And I do feel like that does happen for me in November is because a lot of the big things that I want, I am asking people to give to me for Christmas. So first we a couple things I got from Ulta. The number seven advanced retinol 1.5% complex night concentrate was a diamond gift, which I always hate when we get a drugstore product as our diamond gift. I feel like it should be something high end. Yes, number seven products can still be pricey, especially the serums. And I'm using this right now. I like it well enough. Wouldn't repurchase it. I really love the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum. I love the texture of that one. This one's just fine. Then I got some Jaclyn Cosmetics products. I think they were like 30, 40% off somewhere in there. I got one of her lip liners in the shade Cupcake. Looks like this. And it's not the most unique color ever, but I actually don't have a pink shade like this. I do like this formula. I do find it to be similar to ColourPop maybe stay in place a little bit more. And you know, the pencil doesn't fall out of the packaging so far. So I do think that this is really nice, especially for 30, 40% off, but not necessarily a must have. I like ColourPop lip liners just as well, but I don't regret buying this. And then also from Jack and Cosmetics, I got one of her Rouge Romance Cream Blush Sticks in the shade Swoon. I ended up returning it unused and it was just too bright of a pink for me. I do have one of these in a different shade and I do think that it's a really nice formula. I would love for her to come out with more shades, different shades, but it is a cream to powder, really easy to work with, but the color was just too bright for me. Then I did purchase some products from Sigma. I think their face brushes may have been $15 each. And then I did throw in an eye brush as well that was on sale so that I could get the free gift of a brush cup. So the three face brushes that I purchased would be two backups. These are my originals of the Sigma F05 Small Contour Brush and mine I've had for forever. The writing is all worn off, same as this one, the F15 Duo Fiber Blush Brush. And then I decided to pick this up just for variety sake and because I really love blush brushes and this is the F10 Powder Slash Blush Brush. Then for the eye brush, this is something I've always wanted. I feel like the Bunny Collection, just because of the fibers performed what looked to me to be better than their other brushes. So this is the E40 Taper Blending from the Bunny Collection. And then for my free brush cup, this is the travel size. I didn't realize that there was a travel size and a full size. This is a travel size. They have a variety of colors you didn't get to pick, but I got the teal one. Super cute. I use these literally every day like this. I have my face brushes in one and my eye brushes in one. And I keep these on the desk in my bedroom to do my makeup for work. And I love it. To use it as a travel brush cup though, it wouldn't be great for me because when you put the containers together, it doesn't hold that many brushes. But I do think for a lot of people, it would definitely be enough. I think the quality of all these products are amazing. I regret this purchase. I did not need backups of these brushes. I love them. They're not falling apart. They're still totally fine. And since then, I have gotten other brushes that are similar that I'm using a little bit more right now. So I got from Sigma the F76 Chisel Cheek Contour Brush. Shapes a little bit different. And then I love this blush brush when I'm using a really pigmented blush, and I do, but I've been using this a lot for the past year or so, and I reach for this one over this one most of the time. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH06 My Everything Brush because I love the angled shape to it. So I regret buying backups of these brushes and then I never reach for this one. I do like the idea of this shape, but it's just a little bit too big for me for blush. 
And then I do still think this is a good one, but I have other eye brushes that I reach for over it for some reason. So even though everything is great quality and it was a great deal, I do regret this purchase. That was everything I got in November, not bad at all. Then on to what I got for Christmas. So many amazing goodies, I've used them all except for these. I need to use these this holiday season. These are the Auric Smoke Reflex and this is the only thing I've gotten from Auric. The brand is too expensive, they're not releasing enough. I was bummed that their newest launch were two more shades of the lip balm and not more shades of these, but that's all right. So the first one I have is one that I think I'm gonna like the most. It's Disrupt, the Cranberry. So it has a cream shadow on the bottom and then you have a powder shadow on the top and this one is like a duochrome color. Looks so beautiful. And then the other one, we'll see how they layer together. This is Entice. This is a really dark green. I would have liked it to be a little lighter, maybe a little bit more golden, like more of an olive, kind of like, kind of what I've got going on today. And then the shimmer on top is a white. And you can tell that it has like a bit of a golden tone to it. So we'll see how they layer, but I, I would have liked this to be a little bit different, a little bit more olive but this one looks perfect so i do need to test them soon and review them for you guys and then the next thing would be something that is like a bummer this is the natasha denona mini metropolis palette also came with a little blending brush i don't know if i've ever used it i think that these shades here are gorgeous these are throwaway shades to me i don't know why they're in this palette a matte cream color in a five pan is a waste. We can get this in a single or from so many other palettes. I do not like the color of this brown. To me, it feels too cool tone to go with these other shades. This needs to, in my opinion, be a warmer brown. And then I will love to have either a brown that's like between the two of these or a matte tealy color or a different shimmer. So I like the three of those. These two are throwaway shades. Next we have the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I was so excited to see this half off on Sephora. This is her, one of her $129 palettes. So it ended up being 65 bucks, which is so expensive. I would rather all of her palettes be either mini or midi size. I don't think we need this much eyeshadow. And I love bronzage, but I have it in a single. It's also in mini nude. I regret this because I don't need these shades. I already have them. You can get the ColourPop Yes Please palette. It's almost exactly the same. And I have used it. I enjoyed it. The quality is great, but because of these colors, I did not need this and I just got it because it was half off and I'm a little disappointed in myself for that. But I didn't spend my own money. I got it as a Christmas gift. But yeah, I, I do regret having this one a little bit as well. Next is a palette that I think is incredible. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I love all of her large palettes. I have purchased all of them except for Rose Gold Remastered and the Empowered Palette. It's just a little bit deep for me. But I love this one in the winter. I think this is so pretty. And it is different than New Nude, which has a lot more pinky tones. This one is more cool, more purple. I really, really love this one. Some of these special shades in here are, I love this one too. Stunning, stunning, stunning. This is a fantastic palette. Highly recommend this one. Next we have the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette and this is the light version and you have, and you have a cream to powder blush in here, a powder highlight, and then these amazing shadows. These shimmers are different. They're really foil looking on the eye. They are a little bit more crumbly, but I don't mind. I don't love the formula of this cream blush. It's a little too stiff for me. You really have to dig in there. Love the highlight. I love the look of these shades. This is a fantastic palette. I'm happy to have this one. Definitely need to pull it out more. Next, I have this Pat McGrath Blush Single in Nude Venus. This is a beautiful color. Really nice formula. I am happy to have this, but I don't quite get the Pat McGrath hype. I'm I'm pretty much there with Natasha Denona, but not quite with Pat. If her products were a little bit cheaper, I think I'd be more excited about them, but this is a good blush. However, I do really enjoy this face trio from last year. This one is Galactic Sun. It was the lighter of the two, and these are all permanent products. You have Divine Rose Blush, Desert Orchid Blush, and Golden Nectar Highlight. I love this formula. I am interested in her new highlighter singles, the lightest color there. 
and I am bummed though that her holiday palettes for this year repeat these shades. If they were different shades, I totally would have gotten them. I think this is a much better value than just getting a single, but really nice formula and really pretty shades. Next, I have the lighter of the two Hourglass holiday palettes from last year. This is the Lighting Edit Universe. So you have one of their infinity powders, a couple blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter. I do enjoy this one. It's very pretty colors, good quality, and I am trying my best <laughs> I did it this year. I want to continue talking myself out of the Hourglass palettes. I think they're good quality, but they're so expensive. And the powders themselves are very small. And I don't reach for face palettes enough. But I am happy that I have this one. And next I have this trio of the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Glosses in Rosy Outlook, Velvet, and Daisy Pink. I love velvet. This is such a pretty shade. Once I use this up, I would want to repurchase this. Rosy Outlook is basically a clear. Daisy Pink is not a shade that I would typically go for. So I want to use these up. I do have more shades in this formula. I do like it. It is plumping in the way that it makes your lips look very glossy, but it doesn't have a cooling or burning sensation. It's a little sticky, but not bad. So I do think that this is a nice gloss. And then the last product I have would be this Tower 28 lip gloss set. So it came with their clear shade in Chill and then this limited edition color in Chestnut. They have not since re-released this shade as an individual, unfortunately. This is from their Milky line, so it has a little bit more pigment to it, but it does have some shimmer in here. This is a gorgeous warm color that is different from cashew it's a little bit warmer a little deeper i absolutely love this formula i like this more than lawless but you may feel the opposite i think my friend jean likes these a little bit more these are not as sticky but they're going to wear away a little bit faster i love the shine super comfortable and very very affordable so really happy i was able to snag that set because i love this shade but i haven't hardly used this one at all i just don't reach for clear gloss but I ain't mad that I got that set. So guys, I'm sorry I rushed through this. My camera is trying to die on me as well. But I would love to hear your thoughts if you've picked up any of these products. And I'm really looking forward to seeing people's Black Friday and Cyber Monday hauls from this year. I am doing a great job. I have not purchased anything. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.